for those of you who are in the market for a new microphone but aren't really sure which one to get I wanted to make this video and uh, explain a little bit about how to choose the right microphone for your room and also I wanted to talk about the different types of microphones so in general even though there are many many microphones for sale these days you can put all microphones into two main categories you have condenser microphones and you have dynamic microphones so what's the difference between them let's start with condenser microphones condenser microphones are very very sensitive very true to the source very honest so if this was a mirror it would be a very clean and polished mirror that allows you to see everything every tiny detail so if you're working in a bad room a room with a lot of echo an untreated room or if you have loud neighbors or if you have traffic outside it's going to pick up everything because it's very very sensitive i'm in a treated room right now you see i have panels behind me and in this room a condenser works well because the room doesn't have a lot of problems and it the microphone can really focus on the instrument and not just emphasize things that are bad with the room but if you are in a, an environment that is not ideal if you have a lot of echo or background noise or anything like that i would recommend to get a dynamic microphone dynamic microphones are not as true to the source as um, condenser microphones so they're not very accurate they change the sound they color it a little bit so if this was a mirror it would be one of those funhouse mirrors that stretch your body or that change the shape of things and actually a lot of people like dynamic microphones because of that a lot of people don't like the sound of their voice and this actually colors the sound a little bit if you have a thin voice a dynamic microphone will make your voice sound thicker more uh, bassy many famous singers chose um, dynamic microphones for their songs like uh, Michael Jackson Stevie Wonder Amy Winehouse John Lennon they all sing into um, dynamic microphones dynamic microphones are cheaper than condenser microphones and also they are not as sensitive as condensers which means that they don't pick up too much of the room sound so if your room is not ideal and you are uh, using a dynamic microphone the dynamic microphone only picks up what's straight in front of it so if I would to move a little bit the sound of my voice would drop down significantly and if I were to go away from the mic for a couple of meters the microphone will not pick up anything so if you're in a situation where the room is not ideal, a dynamic microphone is going to really focus on what's right in front of it, on your voice, and less on the sound of the room. And if you are working in a good room and if you really have a great voice, you just want to get everything perfect and as original, you don't want any changes in the recording, you want things to be true to the source, go for a condenser. I'm going to add some links in the description to my favorite um, dynamic microphones and also to some affordable condensers that I really like. And so far, I hope you find this useful and thank you for listening.